Hey guys, it's Kaylee Girl, and I've been, I meant to do this a long time ago, but I was going to um, wait a while and uh, wait and do this um, when I got back from seeing the Adams Family. I saw it yesterday, and it was so cool. Um, but like, this is a video to show you guys all the stuff I got for Christmas. Um, some of the stuff I got for Christmas, um, I had to order. So none of this stuff is even here yet, but when it gets here, I will show you guys. So um, why I meant to do this a long time ago is I saw people doing it around December, but my schedule was so packed for the rest of December, I had no time to show you guys. And then my school schedule kicked in, and I'm just like, wow, I'm never going to get to do any of this stuff. So now I get to show you guys all the stuff I got for Christmas. and. Some of the stuff I got for Christmas isn't here because some of the stuff I can't find or eh, I just don't have it here right now. So I'm going to start with the stuff I got from the Adams Family. Um, this is the um, bag that you get all your stuff in and I'm keeping this. I, I may frame it. Okay, now let's see all the stuff I got. Program. It's pretty awesome program really cool with the pictures from the uh, Broadway casting so that's that's pretty cool playbill You're required to get these glad I got one of those um, CD! Oh yeah, and as you can tell, it's already open. Because I listened to this before I came home. It's really cool. Love the CD. It's going to go over there. And then uh, another playbill, but I think there was something in here. No, there was nothing in here. Random playbill. Um, ah, here it is. Um brochure that they were giving out um, so I grabbed one of these and another playbill and then I got this I was gonna get this shirt that says um, I'm crazier than you because it's my favorite song but I wanted to get this one because it had um, a better design on it and it would be funny if I wore it to school, which I am. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. It's this uh, Wednesday t-shirt that says, I don't have a sunny disposition. Uh, lyrics from the song pulled. And then on the back, it uh, it just says the Adams Family. But um, I may order the um, I'm Crazier Than You shirt. And the uh, shirt that my little sister got that's just a navy blue color with the uh, picture frame in the middle. And it says uh, the Adams Family Musical. And it's got the whole cast in the middle of the picture. I may order that one. And ordered the uh, pin and the keychain. I would have got it, but I ran out of money. So that's all my Adams Family stuff. Complete with really awesome bag. Gonna frame that bag. Now I'm going to show you guys this little character. This is a pillow pet that I got uh, for an early Christmas gift in November from a friend. Guess what I named him? I named him Joey. His name is Joey. And he's one of the uh, miniature pillow pets. Now I'm going to uh, start with um, the Briar. This is my newest collector Briar. It's the um, Rocky Mountain Horse, or in this case, uh, some people call it the Black Forest Horse. Um, his name is Asbel, or his show name is Pegite Prince. And as you can tell, he is not opened yet because I don't know where to put him because I have this, uh, I have this, um, glass curio case thing in my room where I put all my briars. It is completely filled up right now. I have no room. Then I started putting them on my nightstand and again, no room. So I might have a shelf put in here or something. Oops. To, um... Uh, to put him in. And it is, the name Asbel came from the movie Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. So that's pretty much where he got his name. 
Now we're going to go to uh, computer games. We got these uh, two mystery pack games. I can't wait to play them. Like The first one I'm going to play is probably Emerald City Confidential. Because I saw Argle Fum play that. And it looks like a pretty cool game. So I can't wait to play those. Uh, Nancy Drew, Alibi and Ashes. Now, uh, until the 25th game comes out, I have all the Nancy Drew games. Because uh, this is the um, 25th. So I have, uh, I have all the games until the new one comes out, and I can't wait to play that one. Now we're going to go over to movies. We're going to start with this one over here. Um, I've never really seen this film, so I really don't know what it's about, but I've heard of it. Um, and as you can tell, it's still not open yet because um, I have yet to watch it. Due to my schedule and everything, I cannot watch it. Uh, it's called Paprika. And for those of you who have seen this film, please, uh, can you kind of clear this up? Because I read the back and I watched the trailer and I still don't get it. So, um, can you probably, like, help me? Thank you. And, uh, it is rated R. So, um, uh, that's kind of okay with me. But I'm not a big rated R watcher, except when it comes to Tim Burton or Steven Spielberg or certain films based off books, then I will watch it. But Paprika... I would love to watch it because it's anime. So somebody please uh, clear that up and that will help me. Then of course I got the uh, Studio Ghibli film, The Cat Returns. And it was so funny. I loved it. For my uh, anime club's uh, Studio Ghibli month, I, I recommended, I nominated this film. It didn't win though. Tales from Earthsea won. But um, people were like, Ooh, let's watch The Cat Returns because it's got Tim Curry in it. But, uh, it lost. Everyone's like, let's watch Tales from Earthsea. Then this is one of the things I bought. It's The Mission with Robert De Niro. That's him right there. The Mission I had to watch in um, my world history class. And when I watched it, I could not get enough of it. Even after I did my project, I was like, I gotta buy this film. So I bought it. And um, I have yet to watch it. And I'm gonna probably watch it. Then I got a uh, Moulin Rouge on Blu-ray. My, my Moulin Rouge DVD is missing. So I told my mom I didn't care what copy she got. Blu-ray, DVD, I don't care. I just want Moulin Rouge. So here it is, Moulin Rouge. I still love that film. So yeah, those are all my DVDs. And um, I'm going to order two. I got, I'm going to order like two movies that I didn't get. So um, I'll do that. Now, uh, this little thing right here is, um, if you can't recognize it, is a golden snitch. It's a Harry Potter thing, and uh, it came with a pedestal, so the pedestal um, is in my curio case right now, so I just took off, I just took out the golden snitch. That thing was hard to put together, but it's a golden snitch. Over here is uh, one CD besides the Addams Family. I got the Little Shop of Horrors movie soundtrack. One of the movie, the movie was one of the things I wanted, but I got the uh, CD. I bought it. Now we're going to go over here, and I got a Jack Skellington Snuggie. Yay, I got a Snuggie. Jack Skellington hat. Oh, yeah. And then I got this jacket with Jack and Sally on it, and it says, uh, True Love Never Dies. I also got a shirt, but it's not here. I got these headphones. It's in Vader Zim, and it's got grr, and then the earbuds are really funny. Like, here's a taco. Earbuds a taco. And this one is uh, the poop cola thing. Now we're going to go over to, uh, to the books over here. I got War Horse, and I started reading it, so I took it out of my backpack in order to do this. A uh, drawing manga book called... Uh, Drawing manga, animals, chibis, and other adorable creatures. It's so cute. I drew a fox using this, and it came out pretty cool, and I love it. The Manga Artist's Workbook. It's a step-by-step -step thing in order to draw anime and manga. So, it's really cool. Then I got the site. I heard about this book, and I was like, I need to read it. Wolf lover people, come on. So, I, I got it. Yay! Then over here is a um, is a color pencils complete with sketchbook, big giant sketchbook. 
So, um, yeah, that's all of my stuff for now, but I'll do a, um, I'll do a part two when I get some of the stuff I ordered in and other stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, little video, even though it went by pretty fast and I wanted it to go by fast. I got too much stuff to do. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So bye.